hello everyone in this video we are going to create this shiny button or here you can see the demo this glow is rotating our around of the button so let's get started now so first i am going to create one html file and this one is going to html file index.html and second one we need also css file so style.css and let's Right, some skeleton here and we can link our CSS file and just we need to take one button here and here we can give the name tiny button and let's open the live server so we can see the changes here in our button and now we go to in a style fan and let's little bit do what our this code and here we can I am going to resist our some default style using universal selector here. Padding should be zero, margins zero, and box size border box. And here we can also body. And so let's do this button in center. So just we need to write here display grid and place item center and min height 100 bh and let's give the background color 191a21 so here is our buttons so now let's give some style of button so select that button directly because we don't have a that much element inside of html so button directly and we can give padding one rem top and bottom and two rem left and right now and also we need some border radius so we can use larger number so it should be rounded corner and we don't need border so we can just border none and in this we also don't need the background so we can directly give the transparent so here is the shiny buttons and give the color white and let's give some font size so it look more bigger than now this is our button so now here is our button but we need to create some glow effect on this button so i am going to use button before and here we should contain nothing and position absolute left zero top zero and give some bit and height so let's take two ram and height to ram and i want background white so here you can see our after so we need to relative to this actual dip so here is our button and we can give here border so we can understand and red and now here you can see our button so this should be in the middle so i am going to give transform translate 50 percent and here should be i want also y so minus 50 percent now you can see here so now here is this one so now we can give the border radius border radius 50 percent now it's circles and so let's create one animation that is this circuit rooted on the outline of this button so here is the key frames and here should be button animation you can give the name whatever you want and just keep it and select zero percent and we want from left 100 a start from zero and goes to the 100 so top should be also zero for now and here i am going to give 35 percent and left should be 
100 and top should be zero and so now here you can see the animation if then we can use button animation give press again li linear now you can see this working fine let's copy this one and change some value so here i am going to give 50 percent and left 100 and from here to here should be this top 100 percent so now left and goes here and we want from here to here okay so from right to left so just we need to change the value of left so 85 and we can give here zero so now you can see and it's go top because 100 percent is actual of zero percent so now it's working fine and here should be we need to write in final so here you can see now it's traveling and we need to offer flow this button hidden now you can see and remove this order none here you can see and let's create our after element so we can hide this one top of this so just see this little bit borders look like borders not a exact border so after and we can write content for nothing for now and exactly we can give position absolute and top for now zero percent and left for zero and width hundred and height hundred so background color should be this one now you can see it's not showing the outlines because we have hundred percent of bit and height so it's hard properly so just we need to reduce some amount of this so we can give the 98 and also give the 96 something and one percent from the left and two percent from the top and now here you can see this is button and we also need some border radius so i'm going to give border radius exactly same so we can inherit or give the exact number of that so here you can see but it's not glow but it's looking nice but let's glow this one just we need to add one hair filter and filter and blur this our deep so now we can see it's glow effect and here one is missing is that our text is not visible so this is after element so here we can give the text something like button and here is the buttons and this mac display flex you can also use grid and and align items center and justify justify content centers now text in center but we want if whatever text is here this would appear here so we can use the data attribute and we can access over so we don't need to write here so data dash value you can write anything like value text to suppose text and here we can write signing button and we can access here easily attribute and data dash text so here you can see so now let's give one hover effect on this button and wrap up after it so buttons and hover after and background image and linear gradient to crop 
and give RGB value. RGB and four four comma four four comma four and exactly our buttons color and you can give the transparent as well so let's so now it's looking fine and just add cursor pointer so it's looking great and you can use there you want so i hope you learn something new i will meet you in next one bye